one time I did ask one of these players, I was like, how, how does the pressure feel? You know, like you are uh, 15 years old, like you're, you're carrying the hope for your entire family, you know, because they don't really have a financial stable situation where they can like go out and find jobs. And like, if this doesn't work out, I have that, you know, like they, they don't have this kind of things. They need to make that work, you know? And, and I remember talking to this guy and also an interview uh, that I watched of this player and they asked him like, aren't you scared of going to a stadium with a 60,000 people screaming your name and like, uh, or either for or against you. And, and, and the thing that he said really touched me and that really motivated me to continue working with, uh, with youth players. And he said that uh, what really scared me when was I had nothing, I was living in the slums, I was living in the favelas and there were rats attacking my sister and I had to protect her from that. And uh, this for me, this is my passion. I love playing soccer. I love doing what I do. So even though it seems like that's, for us, like, wow, that's a big pressure. You know, there's 60,000 people watching them. Where they come from, like the background history, everything that they are dealing with on their daily lives, they are they are fighting for their lives. You know, they are fighting for survival. They, they know that, that if they don't do well at the level that they are playing right now, they don't have what to eat the next day. So it goes beyond just the natural pressure of uh, playing in the game and then going back home and having dinner with your family. It, it for some of these kids, especially in these countries that are not, you were talking about third world countries like Brazil itself, like countries in Africa, these kids, they don't really have an option, you know, like they, they, they really have to focus on that. So, yeah, so it, it's really tough. I can imagine like from a, actually, I don't think I can imagine what it is to feel like the pressure that these kids have, but not the traditional pressure that we see, the match, the many people on the stadium, but the pressure to actually have to, uh, to help your family to succeed, you know, to actually survive. That's really tough and that really touches me. And that's why I'm fascinated with working with youth sports.